investor sentiment could be easily seen based upon the buy signals that occurred late last week. And then the NASDAQ gapping up above the uh, T-line with stochastics coming up out of the oversold area. <clears throat> we needed to see bullish confirmation telling us the T-line was now breached. Today's selling, taking the uh, NASDAQ back below the T-line, clearly illustrates that the bulls have not taken over control of this trend. The Dow had the same prospects. A bullish harami telling us the selling had stopped. A positive open confirming the bullish harami making our next target the T-line. Once it got there on Friday, we definitely needed to see a bullish open today and taking it up above the T-line to confirm a candlestick reversal signal and a close below the T-line. The fact that they took it right back down, and again, notice where they sold off, right smack dab starting from the T-line heading down, tells us right now this downtrend is still in progress until we see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line. Because the T-line rule is so effective, that there are times when our recommendation such as PBYI, we were short, but then we had that hammer signal in the oversold area, and it opened positive the next day. Good day to take profits from this trade. However, by the end of the day, we were reshorting where it opened because logic said if they came up and failed at the T-line and heading back down, they were negating this signal, telling us the downtrend was still in progress. Part of successful investing is not only taking profits when it's a time to take profits, but also getting back into trades when it looked like it was time to get out of the position and then get back right into the position. And even when the market is not corresponding with a price pattern, such as our recommendation on Cray was based upon the bobble, which is a failure at the 50-day moving average, notice that it couldn't close below the T-line and we had this slow curve had a nice strong day and a day when the markets were off 200 points. Once again, this is being able to identify what happens with investor sentiment that reoccurs over and over, putting you in the right place at the right time in spite of what the overall market conditions are. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.